G'day gang, game Molly Danny, how you going? We're back at the World of Warcraft and we're looking to start a new race. See the starter zone, explore the starter zone. We haven't done one for about a year, I'd say. I mean, we've done the Blood Elf, which we've just continued on uh, to wherever we're up to right now. Uh, but I wanted to go back and do another starter zone. So I think we're going to do Undead. I'm going to choose the Undead. And I'm going to try a different class out. I think the Rogue, I have not tried that out before. So we'll give that one a crack. Let's go into customizing this character. So we've got the skin color. Got off-white, a bit of bluish. Maybe previously a night, night elf, maybe. I don't know. Let's go with that face. Look at that jaw. Yeah, that'll do. Hairstyle. Oh, we've got to style the hair up, of course. <laughs> On this rotting corpse. What else have we got? Some interesting choices here. And I'm sure there'll be more available from the stylist. Yeah, that'll do. Features. Oh, here we go. What's what's that? Messed up jaw. Oh, just no jaw at all. I had the tongue stick it out. Yeah. Busted up jaw. Funky things on their face. That's an interesting jaw. Oh, let's go with that one. Alright. Though Lady Sylvanas and her Forsaken finally took vengeance upon their hated enemy, the Lich King. Their dark crusade in Northrend proved costly. Betrayed by Grand Apothecary Putris at the Battle of Wrathgate, the Forsaken's devious plague of death was unleashed upon both the Alliance and the Horde to calamitous effect. Unbeknownst to Sylvanas, Putris and his demonic ally, Veramathris, had taken control of the Undercity. As a result, the Forsaken were wrongly blamed for the traitor's atrocities. Though the Undercity was eventually retaken, Sylvanas and her followers still bear the weight of Putra's sins. Mistrusted by the other members of the Horde, the Forsaken must now prove their loyalty to the cause and redeem themselves from their supposed treachery. To this end, Sylvanas has bolstered her defenses within the Tirisfall Glades and readied her undead forces for any contingency. As one of the Forsaken, you must use your cunning and viciousness to slay any who would pose a threat to Sylvanas' rule, be they human, undead, or otherwise. Arms crossed, can I stand up? Nope, not yet. Fresh out of the grave, Game Oliodan. Rise, Game Oliodan. Welcome back to the realm of the living. With the blessing and power of the Dark Lady, I have freed you from death's grip. You are no slave, Game on Yodan. You are free to follow whatever path you choose from here. If you choose to serve the Dark Lady Sylvanas, I recommend you speak with Undertaker Mordo. You will find him behind me in the graveyard. Okay. What happens if I choose not to follow and just take off and never complete that quest? Then what, Blizzard? What do you require? Maybe I just instantly get zapped and die. <laughs> Hello there, you must be... Game Olio Dan? I'm pleased to see that you are up and waking, walking around Game Olio Dan. You've held up nicely, especially after being dead for so long. Others weren't as lucky. If you wouldn't mind, I need you to fetch my embalming fluid and some twine to stitch up these bodies. You'll find both in the Shadow Grave. The building just behind me. Here, Darnell will follow you and join you. He knows the way. Farewell. Let's go, Darnell. They're just behind, right? So in here. This way. Aha. Some twine. And fluids. Did 
Dunnell, what are you doing? Let's go, Dunnell. What's he's no not over there? What's he talking about? I'm already out, mate. <laughs> Come on, get with the program, pal. What is it? You will find the items within the shadow grave. I believe I left them on my work table. Exactly what I needed. You'll be an asset to the Forsaken game, all your Dan. You know, word has it that you were quite the rogue in your previous life. Should I... Perhaps I should assign you to a more exciting task. The Valkyr raise hundreds of corpses every day. Agatha raised you just a few moments ago. Not all are as lucky as you, however. Some maintain their free will, but live in constant fear and confusion. They usually run off into the woods cowering at their own reflections. Others lose their minds completely, shambling about aimlessly. They often turn to violence and must be destroyed. This is your task, Game Audio Dan. Destroy them, our former brothers and sisters, though they may be. Watch your back. Uh, the mind of zombies in the back here, and I've got Sinister Strike. Viciously, viciously strike an enemy, causing five physical damage. I've got a racial ability. When activated, regenerate 10% of your health and mana every two seconds of ten, for 10 seconds. Only works on humanoid or undead corpses within five yards. Any movement, action, or damage taken can while cannibalizing will cancel the effect. And I've got will the four second lose any charm, fear, and sleep effect. Okay. If I get stunned. I'm building up some dots over here. Couple of dots. Three of six. I need another button. Need another button to use these dots up. So what's it known as? This is a combo combo points. So hopefully I get a button which will allow me to use that. Deliver a nice large Hello. amount of damage. Not even the power of the Valkyr was enough to save these creatures. They were doomed from the beginning. I have obtained some equipment for you, Game Oliodan. It's not much, but it will help. There's the level up. I am done with you. There are, however, others who can call, can use your aid. Caretaker Case. Standing on that stump behind me can probably give you another assignment. You should speak with him now. Beware the living. Mouse is a little bit sensitive. It seems to be all over and the place. Yes, and who might you be? King, peasant, or rogue? I don't care what you were before. I just need somebody with a working tongue. Being raised from the day it is strenuous. Not everyone copes with it as well as you did. In particular, there are three newly raised undead who are having trouble coping now. I want you to find them and talk to them. It might be that they just need someone that they can relate with. You'll find them here in the graveyard. Trust no one. Well, you just said trust no one. So how, they, how can I get them to trust me? If you just said trust no one, that should be my... Much to and probably theirs, right? I live my life in the shadows. Lillian Voss. Get away from me, you abomination! I'm not an abomination, I'm simply undead. I just want to speak with you. The undead are a taint upon Azeroth. Every one of you creatures deserves to be destroyed. Lillian, do you realize that you are undead yourself? Keep your guard up. No, you're lying! My father will protect me! Lillian!
Marshal Redpaw. Speak quickly. Stand back, monster. You want to fight because I'll fight you? I'll fight any one of you creatures. Do you hear me? I'm not here to fight. I've only been asked to speak with you. Oh, really? Fine. I don't want to join you and your Forsaken. Maybe I'll start my own Forsaken. Maybe I'll invent Forsaken with elbows. You are free to do whatever you like. Dark lady, watch over you. Okay, he's off. Veldred Moray. I'm listening. What? What's going on? Who are you? What happened to me? Don't you remember? You died. I died? Yes, you're right. I, I died. It was an orc. He cut off my hands and left me to die. Valdred looks down at his hands. These aren't my hands. These aren't my hands. Come down, Valdred. Undertaker Mordo probably sewed some new ones on for you. Valdred looks back down at his hands. I suppose this is my fate then? Ha! Part of an undead army. Somehow I never considered that I might end up fighting for the Forsaken. He looks back up at you. What do I do now? You talk to Undertaker Mordo. He'll take you and he'll tell you what to do. That's all I know. Victory for Sylvanas. I see. Well then, let's get to work, Game Oliodan. The Dark Lady needs us, right? What is it? You've done well, Rogue. As you can see, not all of us have resigned to our fates. I'm glad to see that you're at least willing to work. Valdred will be a valuable asset to the Forsaken. As for the other two, there's not much we can do. We cannot force them to join us. Darnell tells me that the two of you have already met. That's good. Because I'm sending you both into death now. Your work is done here. Speak with Death Guard Salatane in Death Knell to the north. He will tell you more of what you must know. Farewell. Let's go, Darnell. Okay, so we've got a Viscerate coming at level 3. Finishing move that disembowels the target, causing damage per combo point. So 5 will do 25 damage. Uh, we've got Stealth coming in at level 5. Okay. I am Forsaken. What would you ask of death? Those Valkyr have been really busy resurrecting you newbies lately. I've already seen a couple dozen new bodies run down that hill since this morning. You, however, are the most promising rogue I've seen today. We've been shipping in dead bodies from Silver Pine, Hillsbrad, hell, anywhere we can get them from. We can't, however, afford to ignore the bodies which are sitting right on our doorstep. The last vestiges of the Scarlet Crusade room here in Tiddersfeld Glades. While we've managed to push them from death now, several of their bodies litter the buildings to the north and the east. Go find them, and bring that Darnell fellow with you. He looks strong enough to carry a few corpses. Embrace the shadow. And they've got a Christmas tree. Well, it's good to see that they're in the, uh, in the spirit of, a, of it all. I'm listening. If you're going to be an asset to the Forsaken, you need to learn how to fight. And there's no better target than the scourge minions that continue to pester us. The wretched ghouls and rattle cage skeletons that roam the north and to the east are former troopers of the fallen scourge. They should prove to be an even match for a fledgling rogue like you. Do not tarry. When you are done, speak to me again. Trust no one. How do you talk when you don't have a lower jaw? Magic? Probably magic. Let's 
So here are the corpses. Oh, good. He just tosses them on the, over the shoulder. <laughs> just kick it up. Toss it out the shoulder, mate. Well, how about we get you loaded up first, and then I'll do I'll do the damage. All right, he's good. He's good. <laughs> Mountain of bodies on his back. Hey, he's still standing up. I mean, mostly anyway. I know he's a tough guy. Brutish strength. Or Vate. So I don't know what their energy bar is. If it's just energy or is it focus? Their resources called. I think they should give you the second button to press at level two, though, because I mean, we're midway through this now. But it'd be nice to have a second button to press to make use of these combo points. Now, right, let's get back. I'll just hit that button for the heck of it. It's like a 30 second cooldown. Oh no, it's got a 20 minute cool- Ah, uh, 2 minute cooldown, 2 minute cooldown. Speak quickly. Great work, game on your Dan. I knew you were useless. Here, take one of these. We Death Guards have piles of these things just sitting around. Watch your back. Oh, I've got two cloaks. I got one from the other guy, and then you gave me a cloak as well. Seems like you should have given me something different. This had better be good. You're growing in strength, Game Oliordan. I've seen your type before. You'll be moving out of death now and onto greater things then before long. Just make sure you don't lose sight of where you started. You have much to accomplish, Rogue. And there's our second button. Why don't you go and speak with my novice Elreth? She serves me and will have some tasks to which you can apply your new abilities. Victory for Sylvanas. We got a chess piece. Hello. Hello. <laughs> May the dark lady watch over you, Game Oliodan. Earlier on, I saw a young forsaken woman running towards the old inn. She was screaming for her life, pleading to be taken back home. Not all of us are as resolute as others, Game Audio Dan. Even so, we must accept our fate as undead if we are to rise up against those. who that would put us down. Take my hand, Mira, and show it to the young woman. She needs to see what she really is and join us in our cause. Besides... We can use all the bodies that we can get. Trust no one. So that's Lillian Voss. There's the hand mirror. Let's go have a look if she's inside. What is it? Beware the living. Got the party lights and everything. What? Hello. Goodbye. Wow, it's interesting. <laughs> what did she drink? All right, Lillian, I'm here. My blade stays sharp. Get away from me, you monster! Don't look at me. I'm hideous. You're not hideous, Lillian. You're one of us. Here, look in this mirror. See for yourself. There is much to be done. You don't understand. I, I can't be undead. Not me. Not now. 
She's off. I'm coming, Lillian. Oh no, we're gonna have to find her somewhere else. What do you require? You say she ran away? What a shame. Very well. As long as she's maintained her free will, there's still hope. I can keep you busy here in town all week, but you seem to be more the fighting type. Elrith looks over you over and nods. Yes, you'll do fine. I'd like you to go talk to Executor Aaron. Follow the path north out of Death Nell. You'll find him not far past the barricades. Do not seek death. I don't need to seek him. I've already got it. So let's try this out with the combos. So we got five points, uh, three points. So I wonder if it'd be best to use it every three or four points rather than waiting until you get to five. What would be better? Or to just build it up and then take out the next one. Maybe just about all. All their health immediately. Let's have a look on this guy. Oh, fair whack. What now? What do we have here? A new rogue ready for battle, eh? First of all, look at your armor. You're a mess, rogue. If you'd like to stay in one piece, and I've no doubt you do, perhaps I can help. If you can gather some paws and wings from the wolves or bats nearby, maybe I'll find some armor for you. You'll find the creatures to the north and to the west of here. Beware the living. We don't need you, we need the bats up top. Or maybe just every threes. Good. Ah, right. Uh, so this resource here gets consumed. Bit of a balancing act there. Just sort of waiting around to press a button now while that thing fills up. So energy, okay, so it's known as energy. And to use the eviscerator actually uses 35 energy as well, so... Huh. We need two more scavenger paws. Get back. Might actually get my heirloom mount. Won't get heirlooms, but I'll get the heirloom mount out so we can move a little bit quicker. As we don't seem to have our way of moving any faster than that at the moment. What is it? Do try your best to keep yourself unharmed until I get you some armor. Thank you, Gamolio Dan. This armor should help you out. 
Hopefully it should do more good than the last one to wear it. One of our greatest struggles is obtaining natural resources we need to survive. Gold was scarce in Lordaeron, even in the height of the Alliance's power so many years ago. There is a gold mine to the west that has been overrun with spiders. We need gold from the mine, but we can't very well get in there with the spiders while the spiders are crawling around in there. I've not much manpower to commit to the task, so we'll just have to do it little by little. Get up there and see what you can do for us, Game Olio Dan. Farewell. Alright. I got my orc. Pal, driving me around. Should help us get to certain places quicker. So this is an heirloom mount. I can't quite remember how I acquired this item, but I'm sure you can Google it if you're interested in it. If you have a high level character. Should be easy enough to acquire. But it's great when you make an alt. I'm getting around these er earlier areas fairly quickly. Having said that, it really doesn't take that long to walk around anyway. Most of the most of the quest areas are quite close. Young Night Web Spider Slay, and then we got the Night Web. Just further in. Let's make our way up there. Ah, there's the mine. Let's go get the big ones. Yeah, I haven't really made her. I've played as a rogue before. I did make one a while back to try, uh, but never really got too far. I think, I did say it was under level 10. Don't think it ever really went further than that. And that's not because I didn't, I dislike the class or anything, it's just because I. I guess I never had a chance to play anything else other than like my warrior. Warrior and hunter. But I'd like to play a little bit more rogue plus uh, and shaman as well. <laughs> There's that evil laugh. Hear that so often on the battlegrounds after I die. What now? Well, it's a start. It'll take a few weeks or months to fully clean out the infestation. After that, we'll have to get down there with some torches to burn away the webbing. You've done your duty well, Game on Your Dan. <laughs> <laughs> 